So speaking about critical thinking and problem solving, as I have told you people, teachers are equipped with these questions in the textbooks itself and extra material which we get from outside. Creativity is something which we have to look upon to each individual's talents. Like if the child can do something really creative about one particular topic that has been taught to him or her. Okay. Communication can be integrated in every chapter. Like we can just conduct small assignments, group assignments, uh, like among the students. Peer assignments also can be conducted, asking them to explain their peers or explain the whole class what they have understood from the topic. Communication is only this much. Telling, the, telling your understanding, expressing your understanding to others. Collaboration, giving teamwork, giving teamwork, observing the students, how are they in the team, okay? Is constantly one particular work given to one person or is that the group leader teaching all the people or training everyone in all aspects of the group work, okay? Curiosity, this we easily understand when we look at the involvement of the students. There might be few students who are not at all interested in certain subjects. So we have to understand the intelligence, particular intelligence, multiple intelligence, isn't it? Particular intelligence of the child and we have to, uh, you know, like do something in our classroom transaction that creates curiosity in the mind of the child. Initiative, teachers should set an example for initiative. We have to create an environment within the school as well as at home, okay, for the children, okay, uh, to learn this, you know, like thing of initiative, taking initiative, okay, we should set role models for the students, then only they will take initiatives in life. Persistence and grit, give activities in such a way that you can test the patience of the students, okay, so once we are training the students in such a way, like their their, their release, resilience level is increased. Okay, so then they are ready to face the challenges in their life as well. Don't make activities very easy. Make activities a bit tough so that they learn this, you know, like uh, very basic skill of resilience, having persistence, facing challenges in their life. Adaptability, bring about change in the classroom. Check whether the child is getting adapted to changes in the classroom, like changing their benches regularly, changing the seating arrangement regularly, changing the style of teaching. Change the style of teaching from one chapter to other chapter. Every chapter bring about a change. Whether the child, child is getting adapted to your teaching style, that also you can check. Leadership. Okay, give the chance of being a group leader to every child. Check whether he there is a good leader in him. If there is a good leader in him, then give inputs to that particular child, him or her. If you don't find, then give necessary inputs for that particular student as to become a good leader, whether it's a boy or a girl. Social and cultural awareness, as I said, this should be a regular, you know, like a uh, topic of discussion in every class, irrespective of uh, which classes you are going to, whether you are going to nursery or whether you are going to uh, grade 12. Okay, regular discussion sh uh, discussions should happen on culture and society. General awareness has to be given to the children about culture and society so that they understand and they act accordingly. So this is all about integration. I just wanted to cover some parts of integration as well uh, in this uh, today's session. So that's how it is. Any more, any doubts or if you have any questions, you can please ask. I would love to answer them. I really feel happy seeing people taking notes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, who will summarize today's topic? Or who can speak about, or else what you understood from today's topic? Sudhanshu, sir, kindly give your inputs as in what you understood and what is your takeaway from today's session. 
sir we need to integrate uh, foundational literacies and uh, those four c's along with the character quality yes uh, so we need to create such a kind of environment mm -hmm. where we are integrating all these things in the lessons mm -hmm. so like let's say while you were saying something cbse nowadays gives much more emphasis on inquiry based learning with the i i inquiry based learning so with that kind of so inquiry is basically discovery based learning so instead of jumping on to uh, subject content mm -hmm. we are leading those people in somewhat exploratory way and they are coming to the uh, we are creating situations and they are coming to the answers yes. so that will that that would arouse their curiosity so in that kind of methodology while i am arousing their curiosity with that inquiry based learning they are also forced to think crit critically some children may think creative in a creative manner yes so i think sir all these three things can be integrated yes they are also interdependent yeah interdependent yeah interdependent. yes yes great good sir a star for you thank you sir <laughs> yes saumya ma'am what is your takeaway from today's session uh yes sir like uh, you know i have very recently incorporated a period in the timetable of our students the name of the period happens to be flow of imagination oh so okay. ha so this is all about creative thinking so i took a cue from our last day session so what new could be done now i did incorporate the period but you know i was at a loss as to what to do in that particular period but today's webinar has been of extremely great importance to me because i'll be you i'll be telling my teachers to do this in that particular period so what happens is you know like creative thinking is done along with that foundation foundational literacy competencies and character qualities are also important so i am very happy so i have got you know quite a lot of food for thought for you know the days to come great thank great. you so much nice ma'am nice aarti ma'am what's your takeaway from today's session sir uh again i will say it was again an introspection uh, you know i came to understand that you cannot compartmentalize learning it's it's basically i mean through art integration or through experiential learning we have to bring out whether it is character building education whether it is competencies whether it is scientific literacy or numeracy but then you know through our lessons only a lot has to be done a lot has been done but we really have to work upon four c's of our students and uh, i mean if you have seen through nep lot i mean lot has already been asked like assertion based questioning questions are there a uh, lot of activities have been there but yes now we know that these activities why these activities have been there the only and the only aim is the thorough understanding and the children have to be groomed up in this way so that they they grow up better and uh, civic sense whether it is civic sense whether it is culture i mean so much has to be done and so much needs to be done more we we got uh, you know we got a learning today that yes whatever you know the right path is there we have to follow that thank you thanks to you for that thank you actually the my, my intention in coming up with all the three uh, parts of 21st century skills is that when i have been thoroughly you know doing my research on this uh, initially we were also told about four c's but then uh, i felt this this foundational literacies are foundation for four c's as well see if they don't uh. know cultural literacy and civic literacy how can they collaborate at workplace or at educational institution isn't it at the end of the day somehow the levels of understanding differ all are interrelated yes yeah, all so are interrelated interrelated oh. yeah so when many schools or many trainers like when they are saying four c's four c's four c's my uh, clear uh, understanding is that without these foundational literacies you cannot go to four c's yeah very much important so, so 
basically yes. creativity critical thinking communication or group work that is collaboration it all comes together and from yes. every chapter i think we can bring out all these things only we need to think a bit so yes. i mean that mm-hmm. thinking uh, you know caps have to be on and i think uh, you have done a great job by putting a spark you know <laughs> thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you <laughs> anyone else who would uh, love to you know share your understanding of today's session or what is your take away karpagambigai ma'am would you like to share about your take away from today's session okay saumya ma'am would you like to saumya nair ma'am would you like to share uh, like uh, your take away from today's yeah. session <laughs> Uh, sir i just did you know like uh, no no uh, there is one more saumya in today's session i'm sorry okay not me not me you're so sorry i'm so sorry so i have a question ra like though it's you know yes. not pertaining to the topic which you know we are discussing that's okay sir like you know, that 50 hours of training that a principal is also supposed to be undergoing as yes, per yes. the latest norm so mm. uh, can you know these webinars also be a part of it 25 of these webinars can be a part of it that online session you know i can incorporate 25 of cbsc is mandatory and these webinars and uh, all 25 of uh, of ai aif for my sntc whatever it is it is fine 25 can okay. be whatever registered organization if you are doing 25 hours that is counted so great so that and means 25 hours from the center of excellence even yes. uh, there you can take online those can be even online few yes, of them those can be even online as well online mm-hmm. or offline of 25 from coe center of excellence any center of excellence of your wing i mean of and your rest, uh, rest 25 can be in house or aief or whatever we are taking but we have to have the certificates for that yeah Hmm. so yeah. it should be a registered organization like mine is a registered organization aief is a registered organization Okay, they should have the registration number. In in that case, it is taken. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. This was very much, you know, essential. Obviously, great. So, thank you so much, everyone, for attending the uh, webinar. And we'll be coming up with a few more uh, uh, free webinars like this, uh, if possible, at least once in two weeks. Okay, with new topics, NCF. okay i suppose people eagerly started with ncf and then uh, as they started reading you know the books are kept aside many of them are telling me my co principals and all shuru to kiye ravikanth lekin abhi bazu mein the more we are reading you know things are more complicated okay so people kept the books aside <laughs> do you have any idea about nlp neuro linguistic programming Ah, there are many people. They, see, NLP we should do under a practitioner, ma'am. I have taken introductory okay. session, so NLP uh-huh. practitioners are there. So if you are taking a course under them, then it is, uh, you know, like uh, something fetching for you. It's it's worth taking a course. NLP for school level, I don't think, ma'am, because even I tried, but. Uh, Um, I don't think it is. It I mean, is actually, when something for... new is there, we should know what exactly it is. That yes, is why yes. I ask. No, so this is something uh, yeah. in these days. Yes, yes, uh-huh. it is interesting. NLP is interesting, but I suppose it is more for working professionals rather than students. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what okay. I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anything else? Teachers or trainer <laughs> trainees or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay then. Thank, thank you, you for. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, you for joining. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.